notice that she had a whole lot of things happen to her when it was past time. Yeah. This is an a, 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 a encouragement for Christians that there are moments in your life when it looks like you have missed your window. Yeah, yeah. When it looks like you have missed the window of time for a specific blessing or move of God or yes. a specific uh, breakthrough or, or a specific event or a specific manifestation or a specific result that I've, I'm, I'm, I'm too old or I've been in this condition too long or I, I've, I've wasted too much time or I've missed too much time. And this scripture, see, it, it says it didn't matter how old she was it, because once she got hooked up with God and could judge him faithful, yeah. then her relationship with God overran the things that disqualified her. That's good. See, a lot of us have disqualifications. Oh, absolutely. Has anybody here ever sinned? Yes. All right, your hands not up. You're sinning right there by lying because we, we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All right, has anybody in here ever made a mistake? Okay. Anybody ever done something that they shouldn't have done? Anybody ever done something you shouldn't have done that you didn't know you shouldn't have done it, but you did it? Anybody ever done something that you shouldn't have done and you knew you shouldn't have done it when you did it? All right. Anybody ever done something that you didn't know, but you didn't know that after you knew, but after somebody told you and then you found out, then you knew that you shouldn't have done it? Anybody ever done that one? Okay, we all have done all these. And the key characteristic of all of them is the devil wants to say, because you did this, it's going to disqualify you from God doing anything else in your life. I've got a, a oh my God, I've got a roll call of people from the Bible who can testify to you that even though they blew it, God did not disqualify them. God kept on requalifying them even though they didn't qualify. Even though they did not measure up, God said, I'm using you anyway. Can I call a couple of them? Can I call on a couple of them? Come here, Peter, what'd you do? Peter said, I lost my mind. I, I got to cussing and fussing and swearing. I use words you can't even say in church. But I said it because I, I was afraid to identify myself with Christ. Ooh, wouldn't you think that would be the very thing that would cut you down from being an apostle? Don't you think that would disqualify you from being used as one of the chief apostles? It would in man's kingdom, but not in God's kingdom. Jesus took Peter who betrayed him and denied him and said, you're going to be one of the ones that's going to lead my church, that's going to lead my way. Even though you lied about me and then disowned me and cussed while you're doing it. I threw that in. We might have some cussers in church today. You know, they attend church on Sunday, but they cuss on Saturday night. But you got to understand, a cuss word is not going to separate you from God. Not if you come back and get your heart in line with where he is. You want another one? Let me call him up. Come here, prodigal son. Prodigal son, what'd you do? I left home. I took everything that was mine. I took it on purpose. I didn't slip and fall in sin. I wasn't weak. I left on purpose to wild out. I was sleeping, I'm not going to say with who, but I was sleeping around, I was drinking and getting high, I was doing everything I wanted to do, and I realized I was wasting my life. I came back home trying to tell my father, look, I apologize, I was wrong, I did the wrong thing, I know it's going to cut me down a couple of notches, but just take me back. And my father said, mm -mm, I don't play that. If you come back and get forgiven, you have to be restored also. I'm not going to take you back down another oh my god I feel it God said I cannot take you back at a lower level because I created you to be here and if I cut you down to here I'm always going to be remembering why are they back down there it's going to make me remember what you did to bring yourself down so I can't bring you back down I got to bring you back back where I had you so because I've separated you from your sin in my mind 